You know, there's, there's a child out there tonight whose life is, is completely and utterly unrecognizable to me. You know, and I don't know what he feels. You know, maybe he feels a sense of desperation or anger or, or maybe he feels, you know, motivated, determined, courage. Maybe he believes he's talented. He's a survivor. He can, you know, overcome if just given the opportunity. You know, while I don't know what he may see or what he may think, I do know one thing. He can't get to us. You know, we have to get to him. I am thrilled to be standing on this construction site. Our organization for a number of years now has been focused on this goal of building this new tennis education and community center in the heart of this underserved neighborhood in D.C. The idea for the new site was uh, conceived when I first started working at WTF by Dwight Mosley, the then executive director. Now that was 18 years ago. So you can see they've stuck to it and they've uh, worked very hard to make this dream come true. This site is right there where these kids live and where their families are. And it makes a tremendous difference to be with them all the time. Uh, these six indoor courts and nine outdoor courts plus classrooms and a computer lab and locker rooms and a community space are going to make a tremendous difference in what WTF is going to be able to deliver to these kids. Well, I think the new site is great because it's in the tough neighborhood, a tough area where there's a lot of drugs. It's easy for kids to get in trouble because they don't have anything to do. They don't feel loved. So we can be there every day for them, show them that we care about them, show them that we love them, so that they become a better person, that hopefully they can help the other kids, you know, when they get older, do the same thing. It could be a cycle of good stuff going on, helping each other. WTEF is a 57-year-old, award-winning organization with proven outcomes. For 14 consecutive years, 100% of seniors graduating from WTEF's Center for Excellence have gained admission to college on academic and or athletic scholarships and financial aid packages. External evaluators have proven that children participating in WTEF's Arthur Ashe Children's Program have significantly higher annual school promotion rates and significantly lower absence rates than children in the general school population. I want to be like my sister because she went through this program and she went to college on an academic scholarship. We've had many kids through our programs and gone on to college. Kevin Tyndall is an example of one who was able to get on the bus, travel to 16th Street every day, and he has graduated from college and is currently in law school. I was so excited when Elaine and Willis told me that WTF was building a new facility in Southeast Washington. A very close friend of mine, a doubles partner, grew up in WTF like myself. As he got older though, he could not, no longer resist the temptations of our community. And the check to 6th Amy Kennedy seemed too long. Coach Willis tried to convince me to get on the bus to ride the hour up to WTF Tennis Center in Northwest with the other kids. But I clearly remember the day that I looked at him with tears in my eyes and I told him that I couldn't do it. So I chose the path of least resistance fill in with the wrong crowd, and soon my life began to unravel. I got in trouble at every turn, failed to graduate from high school, and eventually ended up in a juvenile facility. Today, however, I like to think my life has come full circle. I am now working as a tennis coach at the, at the center in Northwest. I believe that my story would have ended much differently if I had a tennis and education center like the one that WTEF it's building. It would have taken away the excuses for not getting on the bus and provide a safe place where countless kids like me can resist the mean streets of Washington and instead flourish. If you give this community that needs it the most something they can take pride in, something they can have ownership of, that they'll respect it, they'll nurture it and, and, and protect it. Um, and since we built our school, there's been no graffiti, no crime, as opposed to the community affecting the school, the school has affected the community. And I think you're going to experience the same thing here. With your work, we will not only have a new generation of Washington tennis greats, but a generation of true leaders rising from some of D.C.'s most dangerous neighborhoods. Thank you so much, WTEF.